This is part 14 of C-Sharp interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss an interview question on virtual method in an abstract class. One of our YouTube channel subscribers faced this question in an interview for .NET developer role. The interview question is like this. An abstract class has a default implementation for a method. The method's default implementation is needed in some class but not in some other class. How can you achieve it? The answer to this question is very simple. If you know what a virtual method is and its purpose, then you already know the answer. Let's understand the answer to this question with an example. We have a new console application here. Within this console application, let's create an abstract class. Let's name this class abstract class. This abstract class is going to contain only one method and we are going to provide default implementation for that method. So let's make this method public. I'm going to make this method virtual and there is a reason for doing so. We'll discuss that in just a bit. Let's name this method abstract class method. Let's provide a default implementation for this method. All this method is going to do is print this line to the console default implementation so we have an abstract class and we have got a default implementation for a method within this abstract class now what is the interview question we want this default implementation in some class but not in some other class now by making this method virtual within the abstract class, we are basically telling to the derived classes, if a class wants to use this default implementation as it is, then that class is free to do so. On the other hand, if another class does not want to use this default implementation, it's also free to override this default implementation with a new implementation. That's what is the significance of this virtual method. Let's actually look at this in action. So I'm going to create another class here. Let's name this some class. And we're going to make this class inherit from our abstract class. And this class is going to do nothing now, since this class has inherited from the abstract class, this class will have access to this method, which also has a default implementation. So when we create an instance of this class and call abstract class method, this class is going to use the default implementation. So for this sum class, the default implementation that's available in the base abstract class is available. Now, we are going to have another class. Let's name this some other class and this class is also going to inherit from abstract class but now we don't want this class to use this default implementation so this class is now free to override the default implementation provided by the base class so we want to override the abstract class method and we want to change the implementation so the some other class is going to print new implementation to the console so this default implementation is available for some class, but not for some other class. So now within our main method, if we create an instance of some class, let's call it SC equals new some class. And then when we call the abstract class method, you know, it's going to use the default implementation because some class did not override the default implementation. It's going to use the default implementation provided by the base class as it is. So this statement right here is going to print default implementation. Let's create an instance of some other class. Let's call it SOC equals new some other class. And now on this object, if we call abstract class method, this class is going to print this line, new implementation. That is because within some other class, we have overridden the default implementation provided by the base abstract class. So let's go ahead and run this now. There we go. We get the output as expected. So this sum class uses the default implementation provided by the base class, whereas this sum other class has provided its own new implementation. Hope this answers the question. If you have any suggestions to improve this answer, please leave them as comments. Thank you for listening and have a great day.